short video on what's up with Miller Effect. How did I come up with that magic number to deal with the uh, feedback resistor? So Miller Effect, uh, we have some, let's say we have some amplifier or really some relationship between nodes. There's an amplifier or uh, relationship A. Input. Of course, A is just VO over VI. It's a really lowercase, lowercase. And we have some impedance here. I'm going to put it just as a box because it doesn't matter what it is. Call it Z because it's an impedance. It can be complex. If it's complex, it's even better. Okay, so we have this. Uh, if we look into the input of this, we see an open circuit. This is an ideal voltage amplifier that we're assuming. So its input impedance of A itself is infinite. We want to see what Z in is. And that's a little harder to calculate. We can't see that already. It's not just Z. It would be Z if this end was tied to zero. Uh, we are forgetting our reference. This is a single-ended amplifier. And just to make sure everybody feels better about this, we'll put one magic ground symbol there. My rule to only use one of these unless absolutely necessary. And even then, it's not necessary. All right, what is this? Well, what's this current? I? Well, I is V I minus V O over Z. Hey, check this out. I already know what VO is. VO in terms of VI. I can solve for that. So it's VI minus A VI times over Z. Well, Zn is just merely VI, the ratio of the voltage between those nodes and the current flowing there, which is I. VI. I don't know what VI is, so we'll just keep it there. We can't plug any number in. 1 over I, which is Z over VI minus AVI. All the VIs cancel. We end up with a Z over 1 minus A. That's what it looks like. So we can replace, take this circuit and replace it with something that looks like this from, let me draw it out first. Here we go. From the perspective of the input, we can replace this structure with a ZEQ, which is this, 1 minus A, and it looks like this. We can't tell uh, the equivalent resistance or impedance looking into these, this port, these two pins, uh, between this one or that one. We just replace it with that. Isn't it really interesting if A equals 1? Z goes away, goes to infinity, and so on. If A is less than 1 uh, magnitude, or and it's positive, we're good. Usually A is negative. And we get a 1 plus here, but if uh, we can get some interesting things happening, we can change the sign of it. Z, if A is still, um, or if A is greater than 1. If A is 2, we get a minus Z. That's kind of interesting. Thanks for watching.